movie begins. Well, let me turn off the ball. All right, the movie begins with. Oh great, six Odas to count. And I want to show Count Pan because she's technically infected. In the King Oda, you can tell this is going to be a difficult one. Anyways, he tries doing a chance, but that clearly isn't going so well for him. Which sucks, but whatever. Cool revelation that it won't work. Anyways, and Jesus Christ, I'll count Annabeth and those two Odas. That's 11 freaking kills, and we'll barely made it in. Oh, this is not good vibes. Not good vibes of all. The Oda 3, Apocalypse. Yeah, that's so metal. Love the title card, dude. Anyways, as we head to the opening credits of characters we all will be meeting. There's Leah Ash as Kate. That dude is Joe. And Dr. Mad. Don't worry, all of which will show up later on. Anywho, now it cuts to Zio. Zero or Z outside with Chad eating toast. He is clearly a hungry fellow. Anyways, apparently he slept for over an hour. How the heck do you do that? But I'm not gonna question it. Whatever. Anyways, as they're just chatting about life, we see an odor hiding behind a pole, which I will count. Dr. Mad, about science, shows up and tells them to get in, but they clearly don't want to. As, you know, who wouldn't want to, who would want to hang out with this crazy fellow, this scallywag? Anyways, as it seemingly gets nighttime in a matter of seconds, he goes all frantic and says, Get in the car, come with me if you want to live. Which they do, so they obviously get in. Anywho, as they drive, drive, drive to Dr. Mad about science suck house, we see another odor hiding, which I will also count because I have to. It's my job. Well, it's not. You get the point. I will. Anyways, they make it to his house, and they just ask what the hell is going on, as we see another odor hiding in a house, which, okay, I guess I'll count. I'm not sure if it's the same person from the sign, but who cares, okay? We're having fun. Anyways, they see a camera. Cause, oh, that doesn't come way later in a creepy way. Anyways, now he's looking out a window, shutting it, and telling them to be quiet. Basically, he kind of caused the end of the world with a crown, which he built that could control the odors. But it was stolen. However, he has another, but he got stolen again. Now he's crying. co to dude. Oh! Was that not infected? I'll count that infected in a minute, okay? Give me a break. Please, okay? I just got back from counting Edge World Fun Dead. They ask what they can do as another infected one by, which I also will wait to count. Anyways, they're all just chatting about science, how to stop it, and yeah, it's just very interesting. But then you go to this guy named Joe, and Jesus Christ, I'm infected. Again. Won't count it. Be patient. Anyways, anyways, as they just seems like something's watching them. And oh, look at that smug face. He just pooped his pants. The huge knocked at the door, and you know, are pretty freaked out. And they told again, "Shut up for once, please." Anyways, he looks on the cameras where we see Jesus too infected. But give me a sec, All right? Please, too infected. Plus two more banging at the door, which I don't think is the same people. Yeah, they have the same username, but who gives a crap? I'm thinking of it as different. And yeah, I'll count all. I'll count seven people as infected since we saw three others. And the person in this car won't go on the count because they're probably among the seven. The car flies at them at lightning speed, and and they're dead. Yay! Oh, never mind. They're in this new server. I think Royal High, but who cares? This is apparently where Joe is. And it looks disgusting as ever. Whatever. Honestly, this... And we see a whole bunch of role players. Just like Gotcha Life. Yay! Which I will only count a single Gotcha Life kill count. Okay? That'll be in December. Anyways, they talk with this girl named Katie of where the dude Joe is, and while she doesn't know him, she knows he's in the server because she's in charge of finding all the new people, which is fun. Cool. Don't care. Anyways, seems like Chad has the crush on her. Whatever. 
Meanwhile, just wings fly in the background. Anyways, they're just chatting, and Katie's pretty happy. And says she can lead him to, um, well, will ya? Please, I don't want this kill count being longer than the BFTD finale one. Anyways, they walk upstairs, up some stairs again, and through a very ominous window to Joe. Eight, four, eight, two, four, seven, five, moved in! Anyways, this is where he is. I was gonna bang on the door, which is cool. He bangs on the door for a minute, but he doesn't answer. And apparently he's watching them somewhere later on, but why didn't he come talk to them? Whatever, it looks like now they're gonna have to search the server. First, they have to check in the bakery. But it doesn't look like he's here. Yeah, yeah, really? You hungry, hungry jerk. After that, Chad goes for a swim, but also isn't there. Which, you stupid, of course, you can see through the water. Whatever, this gives a funny antics. Chad now is getting a spa with stuff on his face, but clearly he's not there either. Anyways, Chad's bowels are going boom boom. They're erupting, but he has to go to the bathroom. Whatever. Anyways, Chad runs up the stairs in pretty fast time as a smelly fart fills the area. He tells him to stay there, which is a good idea, man. Who wants to... Well, good thing we're not getting a bell. Frick, we're gonna see him go to the bathroom! Oh, why did they have to add this? Whatever, he'll be fine. Just, just be careful. Whatever. Anyways, he goes in. Bowels still, and I mean still, are erupting. Sitting there, going boom, boom, when someone enters. But no one, no person seen infected. No count. Cry about it, nerds. Anyways, as they walk, they eventually find their room, and like G. Wilkers, it's Pancaz! Zoink, Scoop, what are we gonna do? And we do see, jo oh, we just saw Joe. We just saw Joe in the far, far background, but again, don't know him yet. We see, a, like, a camera in there, apparently, but they're in there, sit down, get comfy. That's when they get up, knock at the door, and it's Joe! Ah, oh, we've had so many fun memories with Joe. Who the hell is Joe? Oh boy, anyways, he walks in, and we're about to get some backstory about what, how he's a survivor. He asks if they're survivors, which, uh, of course we are, they are, you can't, they don't have the, oh my god. Anyways, he looks pretty freaking serious, as he ha as Dr. Matt sent them, and he apparently knows about this, and he can help. But first, how about we get a story from you, showing in the video recordings. Anyways, it shows this whiny faced Joe as he, and he and all his friends were looking around. Apparently, they heard some noise. They walked down some stairs, and where well, they all are, they were freaked out. Like, why are you saying that? There's nothing. Absolutely nothing. But whatever, we might as well get some cuts, flashes as they're looking around. Have no idea what the hell the odor is. Uh, seriously, what is? Why do you zoom in? There's nothing there. I mean, I can see at least. He keeps looking there, even though there's obviously nothing. Like, come on, stop recording, please. Nothing's still going on. Meanwhile, as he's forced to zoom in again, as he looks, looks. Hmm. Anything? No? Just some cut, just some cheap flashes? Why is that? Anyways, we finally, finally get a kill! Yes! The odor! They all start running for the lot, running for my life. There's someone inside. I don't know why I'm saying it, but basically, Joe makes it out alive, and all his friends do too, but the odor is still watching them. And. Apparently, they died. Yeah, according to Joe, they saved him. Why? He's a jerk. He's annoying. Whatever. Anywho, whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Anyways, apparently he has something that can help reverse the otters. Reverse, reverse. It's a necklace. Oh, it's beautiful. But what the heck will that help? They're in the middle of an infection. Whatever. Apparently he can reverse it. But and now he's. In hiding and is freaked the heck out, which who wouldn't? Whatever. It, the zoom in proves that there are cameras, I think. Whatever. Anyways, after some bit more of chatting, of which don't matter because 
you know, Joe is about to get out, which, do you mind, Joe? We got more th- kills to count. Whatever, he finally leaves to go back hiding, because, you know, probably doesn't feel comfortable, and he's gone. Anyways, we see an next turn shot leaving, and next, th- and, who is that? Who the frick, I'm not gonna count her yet, okay? Give me a second. Be patient. Chad is sleeping in a very fitting room for him before he hears a knock at the door. He gets up, walks out, gets out of his room, where Z apparently is getting up too. So you can see. They're confused. Who has... What the hell is that? But eventually they open the door to find this lady. I hate her so much, okay? Katie. Like, she's so annoying. Chad is simping for her and trying to cheer her up as she says to follow him as Joe is hurt. And how do you guys not know it's a trap? Whatever. Katie just leads them as they're pretty far behind, which I would be too. But they stupidly follow her, round through, down these cobblestone, for eventually down the, the suspicious hallway, down some blue, blue and pink stairs, through the glowing thing, and yeah, this is normal to find a person. No, it's n- why? Why are they going? They, why are they following? Eventually, they make it into this wa- uh, the water place with someone staring behind them, which I can't don't know who that is. As they head in, Chad is hiding, and he and Jesus has so many. Uh, I, I think I count eight odors. Odors. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm just gonna call them odors. But there are eight of them who are infected and ready to count. And get ready for some mass counting, because I don't... Anyways, apparently this is what, what happened to Chad when he got infected in the second film. Go watch the kill count if you haven't. And it was a trap. Like, of course it was. How did you not know it was a trap? And here comes Katie, flying, and... Is it safe to say that she's turning infected? And as they all start spinning... I I think I think yeah, Katie's probably dead. Let's be real. Alba Counter is infected, even though like there's no evidence. And we, but I don't think we. And Jen, this creepy motherfucker, who I will also count because I have to, because we saw earlier stalking them from behind. Anyways, he orders them to get in. Oh jeez. Oh god. I think these are all of her friends. Whatever. They all stare at them in freaky fashion, but for eventually, they, they can fly. They all, the three of them fly out of there, along with all the others. They make it back into the room, and it's about time we get some, they start running, running, running. Oh, bunch running. Chad then really goes into a locker, which has his name on it, so they should know it is him. Oh. Is it locked now? In the the Rona room, Z had runs in there. And hides behind the suspicious wall. Keeps hiding. Boy hiding in a stall. It occupied a room. This one, Jenna two point Jenna something point oh, follows. It runs walks in, and Jenny walks. They are all just searching for them and Jen, the creepiest of the creepiest, walks by in terrifying fashion. We just see the POV of Chad. And hold your breath, dude. Hold your breath. She stares at him for a real creepy time. Looking, looking. She walks away then. Even though she clearly should know that it's Chad. However, at least to keep staring... We see Jenna running up the stairs and charging. Staring again. This is the thing for them. Jenna just watches them. Well, eventually attacking. Banging, looking through. Jesus, yeah, and he's gone. Not dead. Just gone for now. Jen, meanwhile, walks to the pussy and he locks it. Yeah, locks it. Which, yeah, probably should keep them out. But, as she keeps walking in terrifying fashion once more, you see the door, which is locked. Unlock? What the heck? How did she unlock? I'm not going to question it, but it is a movie. 
as Jen just war opens the door and attacks Z. Yeah. Anyways, now it cuts to them on in chairs sleeping. All they do is sleep. Oh, and now he's up. Well, the heck are they? They synchronize waking men to dude. Anyways, they are pretty freaking confused, but whatever. <laughs> they look around. <sighs> look outside. There's nothing out there. Nothing I can count. Sorry. Anyways, that's when the door opens, and it's. It is Pan! Creepily as ever. And with a seeker odor, as they're gonna play hide and seek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't care, though. We really don't. Just. Okay, basically, they're gonna have to hop. They get two minutes to hide before a horn will blow. And it is time for the seekers to kill them all. They survive 24 hours. They'll turn into a seeker. seeker which is. You know, terrible. Why? Why would you? I mean, they don't have a choice, but whatever. Anyways, it's kind of a loose-lose situation for Chad here, but she don't care. She then just walks out. Shut the door behind you. Chad asks if she remembers them, but Pan says she does not, which kind of signifies she's infected. Anyways, Chad is pretty pissed off. I would be too, but... They should leave. That's a good idea. But, apparently, they can't leave. Yeah. That that doesn't explain anything. But, you know. Pretty, well, I'm guessing it has to do with the guidelines falling or something. They look at the door. Open it. And a, as he's pretty confused. Freaked out. Terrified. Whatever. Anyways, we need to get you guys out of here. Anyways, they have some hard moments, moments, a little humor from Chad. Oh, my God. I really don't like these films, okay? But apparently the horn goes off, which is early, as they run, run, run out of there. Run as fast as they can, where we see a whole bunch of people scurrying. Joe, for one, but he don't care. He's running. He doesn't like them. Anyways, they're freaked out, and they keep running for their lives. Meanwhile, they make it to the theme park. Anyways, they then hide under the bridge, which is cool and all. Anyways, they keep walking, walking, running, walking. We're eventually finding a good place to hide. Next to the water, conveniently. Meanwhile, another girl, Mary, wands in. And, ah, she's a child, I think. Meanwhile, this one girl, Lily, is running into the school. Breathing way too heavily for my taste. Why would you breathe that heavily? I could get your time, but seriously. As she looks around frantically, running down the hallway. Why would you go near the windows? She turns around and sees a seeker. A seeker odor! And it's time for the kills. She, why won't you hide in the lockers? Whatever. She runs as the seeker odor flies out of her at lightning speed and... Mauls her to death off screen. Yay. First, first seeker kill and it does that. Another guy, Jake, in disgusting hair. Disgusting, disgusting avatar. He's hiding before he looks up. It's a seeker! Ain't about to get mauled! Anyways, Joe, meanwhile, is sprinting towards his house. Freaked out. What the heck is going on? Who knows, dude? Anyways... He sees his house in sight, which, good choice, man. Lock it. Why didn't he lock it? You know, he's pretty confused as we are. Why didn't he lock it? But there's no time, apparently, as he runs and hides in the worst hiding spot ever. Why? A seeker runs by, which I'll count. And it also, as the same seeker peers in pretty terrifyingly. Jeez. And Joe is mauled off screen. <clears throat> Anyways, yay, another seeker is seen around the carnival and then sees Mary, which is stupidly near the end. She screams and is killed off screen by the seeker. Meanwhile, it runs in pretty bad fashion as they hide near the water, which I'm surprised. If it has good scent, smell, why is it coming at them right away? Better smell, better sight, better, s better s hearing.
Whatever, it heads in mm. and misses. They're holding their breath as long as they can, which is longer than I can do. Swims away, gets out. Z's first hides out for Chad and rudely breathes out super loudly. Anyways, they've been there all night, which I'm surprised another one hasn't come yet. They should have if they have that good and could find them. And again, that's due to Mary. Anyways, Chad doesn't want him going out, but Z is it's his destiny or whatever freaking they came up with. He peers out, of which no visible seekers, and we're on the tower now. Z then Oh, never mind, we're not on the tower. Z then hides behind a building. Why would you get out of the hide spot? He hides as fast as he can as a seeker, which I will again, you know, count. Walks down. I love that face. <laughs> Just it's terrifying and hilarious. But how does the, and the seeker doesn't kill him? Like it just sneaks up and just stands behind ne right next to him. Look sideways and what rip him to shreds. <sighs> this is so stupid. It goes after a sound and Z peers his head out way too soon. Was the face still ter made pretty funny? As he walks away. Anyways, he walks, walks, walks to the market. The market. The market. As the, as the seeker is seen again. I think it's a different one. Anyways, Z has something important to see. Show him. Anyways, Z is pretty cool. And anyways, Z had an idea. Chad is curious. And it's jetpack time. And Chad is looking way too serious. And so this one seeker who, Jesus Christ, I don't know if I should count it or not, but I will because I'm assuming there's like hundreds of them. So, yeah, they both fly out of air and fly away. As another seeker joins them, three, four. Look, I'll count, I'll count all of them. And I'm, I'm not going to count the three ones yet. Anyways. Z unfortunately lands as Chad just roots through. Apparently his jetpack won't work, which sucks. He tries carrying him, but it won't work. So Z is so, like, what the hell are we gonna do? But Chad is pissed off too, but you know what? I think it's about time we get a tearful sacrifice. Because the seekers will be a coming. And Chad lets Z. Oh, God, I hate this because it's sad, honestly, that Chad sacrifices himself for Z. Uh, why? Uh, yeah, it's emotional, yeah, but as much as I hate these four films, oh, three, I haven't seen the fourth one, I, I'm just sad about the sacrifice, as I will be able to count another four Seekers. Four or three. I'm going to count four, though. Anyways, he flies up to the tower where the queen is standing. He flies up and some and smashes into her, shattering the crown. Pan is now back to normal, which is good. Yeah, that's actually pretty good because we've really needed some power to get this block moving and or get, losing the crown is a good way. Whatever. Anyways, they get to heartfelt moment. Where the hell is Chad? Oh, he's dead. Yeah, mauled by seekers. And here comes another one of the longs. We're going to skip through it. Anyways, Chad's now mad because... Well, Z, well, Z's now mad because Pan got infected and is pretty pissed off because the, the dry lines don't work. And Pan's just like, I don't know, man. I had nothing to do with it. As they're just standing very dangerously to the edge. Now it cuts to another cool shot. Of the King Odor, bro! Dang! Here he is in disgusting form. Now, where the heck is that crown? Oh, it's gone. Yeah, lol. Sorry, man. Oops. Anyways, the plan isn't to break mine. I'm pretty sure it's to kill him. Which, yeah, you should do. But, anyways, he's pretty aggravated. Obviously. Crosses his arm. And, really, you're gonna stop him? Well, let's... To get a whole hell load of count. Oh, God. Anyways, we see... Oh, God. I think four odors. Another one kills this one dude. And a baby odor. And and the two baby odors make it eight. 
And then we see one, two, three, four Odo's wildcat. So that's 12. Woo! Anyways, the King Odo's pretty shot, seeing how easy, easy and he's the most evolved. So no wonder he's the king. Anywho, he can even talk. Well, yeah, with epic subtitles. Anywho, Z puts on his jetpack and flies towards him. However, he gets punched against the wall. Oh, now he's sad. Anyways, he wanted hide and seek, didn't he? Uh oh. <coughs> Let's get him surprised, shall we? He's the birthday boy. Surprise! You're turning into a seeker. Yay! Anyways, we actually see we see the transformation as he sobs in pain. Looks painful. And his crown won't do anything, which sucks. Whatever. Anyways, as he begins morphing into for the Odo Apocalypse, we see, I think, five, five, six, I don't know. I'll count another four. I've counted most of them, but we'll see in a minute. Okay, the sacrifices apparently mean nothing. Nothing. Which is cool. In the end, I'll count another three more infected. Cool, yeah, whatever. Anyways, he can he stop him? Probably. Anyways, Chad looks at him and yes, well the, the necklace can and goes around his neck while versing and banning literally all the odor. Oh God! First, I'll count the king odor though again, who falls to his death, and we see a whole bunch of odors die. And I know I should only be counting the ones I should have counted, so that's five. Plus three, plus the t plus the three baby one, the two baby ones, and oh god, you know what? I'll be nice and count fifty-one odors, mainly due with the ones that I've already counted before. That good for ya? It is. Anyways, just make out already, please. You guys really like each other, don't ya? <laughs> Whatever. Wait for the part four. They fly down, and pretty happy for no reason. All their friends just died. Eventually, though, they see. They wave down. This funny little man. It's the human king. And that's disgusting. Oh, God. I hate that. I hate that with his face and everything. Oh, and he's mocking them. Like, ew, you think you can snap us? We'll always be around. And Chad's like, and he's like, oh, yeah, well... Uh, can't control him. He goes to prison, obviously. As the cop there points a taser at him. Irresponsibly. So the car sh pulls up. With none other than Z again. Yeah. Where well, Pam's waiting for them. And now they get to go to school again. Even though literally so many people just died. So many people died. Oh, God. Whatever. It's fine. We'll live. We'll live. Anyways, the kill count, the kills end with, uh, yeah, them talking and going to school. Yeah, whatever, let's end this. Oh my god, I counted a whopping 118 kills. That is way too many. Just way too many. But I counted 110 female and only 8 male, and don't expect me adding an Odo pie chart, okay? That is way too hard for me right now. Okay, I don't have the brain capacity, and if you think this was hard, oh god, I'm gonna have so hard time. And the next kill count, Edgeworld Spares. This comes out to this pie chart. You can barely even see the blue. I mean, you can, but you get the point. Anywho, I'm going to give the golden chainsaw to... You know what? This is kind of tough. Of course I'm getting it to Chad. Look, Chad, I'll, I actually have two, but I'll give it to Chad. And, of course, I'll also give it to the funny little King Odo, mainly due to the fact that he fell off and Chad was off screen. But they both deserve it, so why not give it to both? Tom Machete, although it's oh so many. But you know what? I'll give it to Joe because his hiding spot was way too obvious, dude. Way too obvious.